In this video, we're going to talk about installing Git on a Mac. And most likely, if you've done any sort of development work, it's already installed just on accident or <laughs> by installing other things. So if you type in Git install, it will take you to this, like in a search browser, search engine, you should get this SEM, Git SEM book, this 1.5 getting started, we'll talk about installing. So installing the Xcode command line tools apparently is one way to install Git. And then apparently you can also just run Git hyphen hyphen version, which will install it. So I'm gonna try to run that. Otherwise I think it's already installed in my system. So Git hyphen hyphen version, I think it was. So if I hit enter, okay, so I've already got Git and that means that I did it, I got Git by installing command Xcode command line tools. So in this next section, I'm gonna show you how to install Xcode command line tools. I'm going to go to my browser and type in HTTPS colon slash slash developer.apple.com slash downloads. And then it'll ask you to log in if you're not already logged in. And then you can type in command line tools. And so I had 13 point something, but I'm gonna try to download 14.1. So I'm gonna click the show details button or whatever, or view details, and then download this DMG. And then I will see you when it is done. Okay, it's finished downloading, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Or try at least. I'm gonna go to the downloads folder. Okay, and then I'm just gonna double click this DMG. Double click the PKG, and then go through the steps. Okay, I'm gonna have to upgrade Mac. I'll be back. Okay, I have uploaded or upgraded Mac, so let's try again. Okay, so that was successful. Once you have Xcode command line tools installed, you we can continue on the page and there's a little bit more information on like what to do. So if we go to the next page, we can do the first time get setup. And so I actually don't remember what all that said, but it's not terribly important. You can, you should probably read it. No, I don't know. The, this git config identity thing is what we wanna type in. So git config hyphen hyphen global user.name to git config hyphen hyphen global user.name and then your name. Enter. And then git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email. Oh, and then no, no quotes. Okay, and then we have to figure out how to do the core editor. I believe it uses vi or vim by default which many people, well, Vim is awesome, but many people don't like it. They, I mean, I've been a VS Code editor for a while, so I'm gonna set that one up just for fun. Okay, since I'm not sure how to do that, or I wasn't positive, I did a Google search and I found this Stack Overflow post that we're going to try. And so this part, I already did in another video, but I'll show you how to do it again. So if we're trying to set VS Code as the default editor, we need to do the whole install code in the path thing, 
which is provided by, some, by Visual Studio Code, so it makes it super easy. I don't know why two opened, but Command Shift P, and then if you type in shell, there should be this shell command install code command and path, and that'll allow you to type in code into the terminal to open it. So that will set that up, and then we can install it as a default editor. So once we have that done, you you would hit enter. I didn't because I already did, and it's already in the path. So shell command install code. And then after that, run the commands on the terminal for config get with new editor. So global core editor code hyphen hyphen wait. And that's because code is the command that opens up Visual Studio Code. So anyway, we'll do git config hyphen hyphen global core dot editor code hyphen hyphen wait. Okay. And then git config hyphen hyphen global hyphen e. And I honestly don't know what that does. I'm running into, into an interesting problem where I added the code command to the path via the VS code utility, but it's still not recognized as we can see with this error that says code command not found. And this is just a guess, but I think the problem was that when VS Code initially downloaded, it went to the downloads folder, which I'm pretty sure is in the users directory. And I may have added the code command to the path before moving VS Code to the proper applications folder. And somehow they have met, that may have messed up the permissions. And the solution for me was uninstalling or removing the code command from the path and then re-adding it back to the path. And that's again using the VS Code little tool things that they, they made for us. The way that I was able to get it to work was just uninstalling it from the path and then reinstalling it to the path. So if you type in Command Shift P and do shell command uninstall, and if you don't see it, you can just type it in, shell command uninstall code from path, and then you install it back into the path. So you can do that. And then you should be able to open up the app. So let me give it a try. So code dot, and it does work. So now I just want to make sure that it works permanently. So I, I'll have to check where the path is. But let's let's try to run this, these commands again. So git config hyphen hyphen global core dot editor code hyphen hyphen wait and then git config hyphen hyphen global hyphen e okay sweet so i think we can just save this command s that's the git config for i think it's for this user so this should work. And now we just need to make sure that that command stays in our path. This code dot, or this code command stays in the path. So I'm gonna restart the computer and do a little research on where, um, where the, code, the code application is actually installed. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I don't actually know if I was able to restart the computer or not. I like hit restart and then it went down and then I just push a button and it turned back on. So I, I don't know, but the, the the main most important thing is to make sure that the the path to the code command is in the act, is actually in the path. And so I think I remember something about like user local bin and so we actually see that here. So user local bin. So let me just see if there's the code command in here. So I'm going to do a new shell, a new tab. I'm going to choose ocean. And so I'm going to choose, go to cd slash usr local and then type in ls and there's a bin. So a cd into bin ls and there's our code command. So that means that this path looks in this, in this directory for a command. And inside that directory, we have the code command, which means anytime you type in code from anywhere on your system, it should look in this path. It should find this command and open the Visual Studio Code editor. So this is a good sign that this should hopefully be working permanently. 
I think maybe it was just a fluke. I have no idea why it wasn't working in the beginning, but hopefully this solves your issue and installs VS Code and Git properly. So hopefully that helped. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release new tutorials. Also be sure to like the video and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Lastly, check out the link or links in the description. We usually create a blog post to go with the tutorial and we might have a newsletter or course or something to check out as well. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.